and welcome back to the Yellow Dresser Studio. My name is Nolly Michelle and today we are doing How to Overcome the Obstacles of Design School Part 2. I'm so excited to share this video with you guys because I really wanted to be able to give you some resources that could really help and some ideas to really help you afford design college and get through the challenges that you might face when you are trying to go to college. So to start we're going to go over fashion design scholarships. So there are tons and tons and tons of different scholarship websites and I really really do suggest signing up for one. Um, you can use Unigo or scholarships.com. Uh, another one, another great one that I found recently that I love is called discover.com. I really love it. It just it lists all of them out there for you. You can easily click on one. It'll show you all the requirements right there. And then if you thinking you want to apply for it, you can easily go straight to the website instead of applying through that scholarship website. Another um, scholar fashion design scholarship that I wanted to cover was I found this fashion design uh, program. I guess you could call it. It's called fashion. It's called Fashion Scholarship Fund. So it's actually a website and you can Google it. I'm sure it'll be the first thing to come up. It's a very nice, neat website. It lays everything out. But it's actually an organization for fashion designers. <laughs> My cats. Um, and what you do in the organization is you can find mentors. You can find a community. You can find scholarships. You can find grants. It's a great place for you to really build your fashion design portfolio and your internships and different things like that that can really help you get the job that you are looking for and it can also help you get the money that you are looking for to help afford that your design college. I definitely definitely will be applying for this program when I get into um, my design school which brings me to one more thing about the Fashion Scholarship Fund is that you do have to be going to a college that is sponsored by them. However, I looked at the list of fashion design colleges that they sponsor and there is tons and tons and tons of them. So I'm sure your so I'm sure that your fashion design college will be on that list. If you aren't sure, you can always go to the website and check and you do have to get into contact with the representative at your college. So make sure you email them and let them know that you are interested in applying. Uh, I do know that this year's deadline is in October. I can't remember the exact date, but I think it's around the 15th. So if you are looking to apply this year for it, the October would be the deadline. I'm not being sponsored by any of these websites, but I really thought they were quite helpful. So I wanted to let you know what resources I'm using to help get ahead and what resources I'm using to help get organized for this next year. Some help, some really helpful websites that I really think can help organize and encourage you to go to your design college would be Asiana, Pantone Connect, By Hand London, and <laughs> something fell. Pattern Lab. Now these websites are all great resources for you to help get ahead in the game when you're going to fashion design school. They also will they can also help clear up things that might be confusing to you when you are studying and you are learning how to make patterns and I think they are excellent tools and excellent websites to help you get ahead in the game. Byhandlondon.com, the only thing I really use on that website is the circle skirt calculator. I absolutely love it. It helps me calculate my waist measurements for any, uh, well, for the skirts that I'm making. So it's really helpful. Pantone Connect is sponsored obviously by Pantone, one of the world's leading color trends spotters. Uh, Asiana is actually not a sewing uh, website or something like Pantone. It's actually an organizer and I have been using it for a couple months now and I love it. There are so many great things about it and I also use Asiana for... I, I use it to organize my blog and my website, my YouTube. I've been using it for really anything lately except for planning my day. I do have a planner that I've been using which is also a great resource. I suggest getting a planner. Some other great resources you can use to help get ahead in the game are books, fashion design books. You can buy pattern making books. The one I have right now that I absolutely love is the Pattern Making Primer. It is great for if you're just starting out and also it is good if you have a little experience under your belt when it comes to pattern making because it really can help explain. It can really help strengthen those pattern making skills. 
I also will be doing a book review on that book, and I will be putting it in the link below. This just, mm, I'll be putting the link in the description below. It'll actually come out on Thursday of this week, so it'll not be here right away, but as soon as it does come out, I will be making sure to put the link in the description below. And the last thing I wanted to cover for this video are side hustles. Now, some of you probably already have a lot of side hustles, or you might be thinking of starting a side hustle when you are going to college. And personally, I think starting a side hustle while you're going to fashion design college is a great, great way to help earn a little extra cash on the side and to help and to help to gain more experience for your portfolio and to really help market yourself because the one thing about fashion industry and the fashion world is that you have to market yourself and having a side hustle can really help improve those skills and really help round out your overall vision for your future which I think is a great thing to do while you're in college and not when you get out of college. So I have a list of some very basic very simple side hustles that you could start if you are going into fashion design school and I really try to keep the side hustles in line with the fashion uh, fashion design major the fashion design world even if you aren't going to uh, design school specifically for fashion design I really wanted to keep these side hustles on the same level as all of those because keeping them in line with what you are going to school for can really help manage your time more wisely and really help you to learn what you're doing better. So the first thing I want to cover is you can start a blog. Now there are so, 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 so many different blogs out there for basically anything, but if you are starting a blog and you're going to school for something in fashion, I would really suggest choosing something that is around fashion and around the fashion industry. So you could go into fashion styling, you could do fashion photography, you could do fashion, you could do the makeup aspect of fashion, anything that has to do with your major, I would really suggest keeping it in that line because it'll make scheduling things so much easier when you're doing a blog and you can really tie in what you're learning into what you're blogging about. Another great thing for is selling patterns. If you already have pattern making under your belt, starting to sell patterns right now while you're in school can really help to get your name out there. It can really help hone and really draw in your pattern making skills so that they're really nice and they're really defined and it can really help you become a better pattern maker than if you were just doing it in school for an assignment. Another great side hustle for fashion designers would be alterations. If you are going to school for fashion design, specifically fashion design, you will have to take sewing classes. And alterations is a big business. There are always people that need alterations, so that is a great way to earn a little extra cash on the side. You can do alterations for basically anything. You can sew on buttons, you can sew on trim, you can take in dresses, you can take in wedding dresses, you can hem, basically anything that has to do with altering the size of a garment or even if you were altering curtains or pillows, you can even do that. It's really a wide range that can really help you practice your sewing skills and really practice, um, and really practice construction of garments overall. Another, and since we're on the topic of dressmaking, dressmaking is also one of the side hustles I have down. If you love to make dresses, I would really suggest dressmaking. Now you can do dressmaking for basically anything. You can find people that need dresses for pageants, need dresses for birthday parties, need dresses for a prom, need a dress for just for to have a dress, honestly. Many people love to have things and they, you can really sell and market custom made dresses because people love that aspect, that aspect of something being made specifically for them. It's tailored, it's handmade, it wasn't some fast fashion thing that was just sewn and thrown into the pile. You really had your time and effort to put into it and I think that's something that you can really sell when you are doing something like custom dresses or custom suits or anything that has to do with making clothes for a specific person. 
Another side hustle you could do if you're in the fashion industry, not necessarily fashion design, and you could still do this if you are fashion design or if you are not, is personal styling. Personal styling is actually a really big thing and you wouldn't even think about it, but most people for a lot of different reasons need a personal stylist, whether it's for their blog, whether it's for their play or their marketing something or maybe they're doing their own web shoot or or maybe it's a fashion designer another peer that you have that really needs to help styling something you can offer your their services so there's a lot of different ways you can network this and really get into the industry and still get experience doing what you love the last side hustle that I came up with was photography. Now, if you are in fashion design or f anything fashion, chances are you are going to be holding a camera somewhere in your life. And I know that being able to do photography yourself can be very helpful down the road because maybe at first you won't be able to afford a photographer or be able to afford a camera crew. So being able to do it yourself is a great thing to is a great talent to be able to have because then you don't have to rely on somebody else and even if you could afford a, phot a, ph a photographer or a film team something might happen where you just need something done and they aren't able to come you can do it yourself so I really think photography is an excellent side hustle or an excellent hobby to pick up if you're in the fashion design industry one last thing I want to say and I'm going to rewind back to scholarships is that a lot of the fashion design centered scholarships that I have been finding are geared toward high school students. So if you are still in high school and you're thinking, yes, fashion design, anything in fashion, that's what I want to do, I would suggest finding those scholarships now because I have a year and a half of college under my belt, I'm 21 years old, and I am finding it hard to find scholarships. For, specifically for fashion design because I've already graduated. Now there are, again, there are many, 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 many different scholarships out there, so I obviously don't have a problem finding a scholarship to apply for, but I really would love to be able to apply for fashion design scholarships, which is why I mentioned the Fashion Scholarship Fund. And I can't because I am no longer in high school. So if you are a high school student in fashion design or fashion in general is your passion and you want to go to school for it, find those scholarships now because when you get out of high school, you won't be able to apply for them. Alright, and thank you so much for watching this video. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more content, more fashion design, more fashion design tips, more sewing, anything that has to do with the fashion industry. I am your gal. So please hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time.